All right, it's Meteor Falls. It's Meteor Falls. We've already been up here. What ta- What terrible Pokemon await us in the dreaded Meteor Falls? I see a waterfall. Oh, hello and welcome to Mr. Red Plays Pokemon Wurmple Challenge. Guys, hello. Uh, so, uh, DMarkaGeo10 tells me that the guy that I'm looking for is in Meteor Falls and you need HMs to get to him. So, we know where Meteor Falls is. You were just watching it on the Pokenav. It's here. So, I was going in basically the right direction. Basically. But there was more to the story, which is that I just had to keep going. So, I'm going to keep going. Uh, and let's do that. Let's just go. I should get out of here. Is there like a repel or like a, I don't know, like an escape rope or like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, like a, like a dig? No, there's not any of that stuff. Hey, but we did pop a wheelie right onto a Pokemon's stupid face. That's what we did. It's a whisper. Check out the Whismur. Uh, this is a shirt called Hey Guy. Uh, it's Drew Gooden, if that's a YouTuber. I mean, it is a YouTuber, but uh, if you know him, that's it. Uh, he's good, he's very funny. I recently discovered his videos and I've been binge watching them. So, I got this shirt. Uh, good way to support the people that you watch is by buying their merch. I don't have any merch, so I can't suggest that. Anyway, patreon.com slash Mr. Place. <clears throat> For as little as a dollar a month, you can help them make it grow, make it bigger and better. And you know what? These ad reads get really boring. I think I'm gonna, in the future, do something about that. Try to make it more interesting. There is just a plethora of Pokemon about. That's the episode of the, the, the name. Name of the episode. A plethora of Pokemon. In fact, it's so good, I'm naming it twice. Damn it! I mean, writing it down. That's what I'm about to say. Plethora of Pokemon. Pleth of Poke is how I'm gonna write it. Because I don't wanna spend all day writing. It takes me a long time to write. Sue me. I do want to kind of catch a ditto, though, because I like dittos, but I'm not gonna because it's the Wormble Challenge, you know? It's not the ditto challenge. No, that's bad. I'm not doing that. Um, I do have the... Uh, the idea for the next one is coming up, and I... When I finish the Wormble Challenge, I don't know what I'm gonna do next exactly. I have ideas, but I, I, I have what I want to do for the next one. I kind of want to go backwards. I want to do, like, Gen 2 in the next challenge. But I'm not sure what to do. I, I had an idea. Actually, this is a good thing I want to like talk about. Because one thing I want to do is I wanted to... I, I saw something on one of the other uh, Pokemon Challenge Let's Players. Or not even Let's Player, but like does this stuff. Uh, did a metronome only run. I can't remember exactly who it was. Here's the thumbnail or whatever. But I wanted to do something like that where it was like an actual playthrough of it. And not just you talking about it. Uh, and so I thought about what if I did like the Misty challenge where you play that game, Gen 2, as like with Misty's party. Uh, that'd be fun, right? Because you'd, you'd have Togepi as your main Pokemon and like the water Pokemon. But then there's no guarantee that you would have to use those Pokemon or at least which Pokemon to use or use Metronome, which is the, what I would want to do. So I don't know if the... I don't know if the Misty challenge would be good enough. I don't know. Just let, let me know what you think. I, I I think it would be a fun challenge. Maybe not something that I'd be able to actually complete the game with, because with the Metronome challenge, it would be probably impossible. I mean, it, you have like 10 PP uh, to use that move, and it's random. And sometimes, it, most of the time, I would argue, it doesn't do any damage. It just does like Tail Whip or something. And that's not right. I mean, that's not possible to do. So, I don't know. You guys would have to let me know if you think it's possible, if I should do it, and whatever else you're in the mood to talk about. Have I fought all of these people? I assume that I have. Although, like that guy, I might not have fought. Not that it wouldn't be a huge deal. Because I could just fight him, you know? All right, it's Meteor Falls. It's Meteor Falls. We've already been up here. What ta- What terrible Pokemon await us in the dreaded Meteor Falls? I see a waterfall. I see a waterfall. Okay, so. Hey, look at this. It's a Solrock. These guys are big and scary, but this one's level 16, so he's not that big, and he's not that scary, if I'm being perfectly honest, which I always am. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think that we have the Pokemon we need to get up here. We have Useless. What moves does he have? He does not have Waterfall. 
Which is what we would need to get up there. So we have to go back, Pete. No, Kate. Kate, we have to go back, Kate. Yeesh. So we can do that, right? We just go on back. We'll just mosey on our way back to the Pokemon Center. A lotty frickin' da. Like, it ain't no big thing. I'm falling out of screen right now, and I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, we're changing some stuff up in terms of the uh, setup with this episode. There are differences that I will explain to you. Oh, the first one is that I have mo I have the lights above me turned off. Usually those are on. Swablu! Usually those are on, and now I've turned those off. I just have my, like, main lights that I use to record, which is good. Because I think I was watching some videos. I'm trying to be, like, better about basically everything. But in the key sense of this YouTube channel, make I want everything to be good. I just want it to be a good show. I'm sorry. Sue me. Frickin' sue me. Don't sue me. Uh, but the thing, one of the things that I'm trying to do is make the video quality better, and one of the ways that I was looking up how to do that is to have lighting in front of you and not above you. And that's something that I knew, but I didn't actually think about the lights above because I figured that these would wash them out. Maybe they did. I don't know if this is actually better. I haven't seen the episode yet. I'm recording them now, idiots. There might be a Pokemon Center in the, the woman who created the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon PC. Uh... Did I say Pokemon Center all those times? No, the, this thing, the PC. Lynette, it might be in Lynette's house, which is down there, but I don't know, so I'm just gonna stick here. All right, so I believe we need our Tentacool, right? He has the the moves that we need. Let's see what moves he has. He has Waterfall, he has Dive, Bubble Beam, and Surf, okay. I'm gonna keep Useless with me because he has Rock Smash and Strength. So I can't replace him with this. So I'll get rid of Wormpole 1, I guess. Who else is here? We have Wurmple 1 and Wurmple 6. Good. The bookends, we'll call them. That's what their name is. That's what their superhero duo team-up name. The bookends. The bookend boys. That's them. Look at those crazy kids. Anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm losing my mind. I recorded some episodes of The Impossible Quiz. Oh, Illusion Shattered. I was trying to make it seem like I hadn't recorded those yet. I did. Um... And yeah, I've, been, I've already been recording for a while, so I'm already in loopy mode. Like, my mind is, like, not work functioning correctly. So I'm sorry if I super don't make sense. I'm also trying... Okay, let's refocus our chi here, our energy. Ener <laughs> because one thing that I'm trying to do is I noticed when I was editing the Game Grubs compilation video... Oh, that came out yesterday, if you're watching this. Um, that came out yesterday. That took a long, long time to edit. And while I was editing it, I noticed something. And the thing that I noticed is whenever I edit something and whenever I listen to podcasts, two of the predominant ways that I enjoy media, is I always put it on 1.5 speed. I even sometimes do this with YouTube videos. And I do that because I feel like I can get through more of it faster. And the thing that's a problem with that is it kind of rewires my brain to feel like the way to speak in a funny and successful way is to talk very quickly and rapidly and not really slow down and consider what I'm saying and spit apparently all over the desk. But w the people that I like, the people that I actually think are funny and interesting, they don't talk like that. They talk more like this, more to like a slower kind of deliberate volume, not volume, but you know what I mean, where they can think about what they're gonna say and then say it, I see a Pokeball over there, and I'm interested to know what's in it. But first I have to get past this Soul Rock, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I also want to be like energetic and excited and fun, and that means talking quickly and maybe sometimes stumbling over my words. So I, it's kind of a weird balance that I need to strike. So that's something that I'm gonna be working on more as the series goes on. Just try to find like a good work-life balance in terms of saying things. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. So that's what you have to look forward to. I just need to figure some stuff out, dog. I just have to understand myself, understand the world around me. It's a real uh, coming of age story, this Mr. Ed plays. I don't know what I'm saying. Again, loopy. So yeah, we're in Meter Falls. I don't know that I've ever been up here. This might be completely uncharted territory for me because when I was playing this game as a kid, I would always beat the Elite Four and that was it for my gameplay. Wow, I really should have stopped and got a repel because there's no point in fighting any of these people. I can't gain any experience. In fact, this episode's almost over. So what we'll do is we'll start making our way to the, we'll make our, working our way back to you girl. And by you girl, I mean the Pokemon town where I can buy stuff. Wow, this is 
truly a disaster. That was one thing, is the lights that I changed. Uh, another thing is the way that I'm recording is different. I used to... Re uh, so when I used to play the Wormpool Challenge, I would set all of the captures up into one video, and the audio would just be the game. And then I would do, with this microphone, I would record the audio separately and put them together so the audio sounds good. And that's what I'm doing now, but what I did for the last session of videos, the last two episodes, because it was the first time coming back and I didn't have the backdrop that's, a, that's down up there, I think. No, up there and down. Anyway, I didn't have that. So I recorded the my entire screen, which included the the game thing, and then cropped it weirdly, and then put my face in separately uh, because I was recording in three different streams. No, two different things. And then I uh, could play around with it, but it was hard to do and took a long time. This time I have the backdrop. I was able to find it. Actually, I recreated it by taking a snapshot of a YouTube video and then making it, because I guess I don't have that file anymore. I guess I deleted it when I thought I was done with the Wurmple Challenge. And... Furthermore, uh, my face is different now. So I have two things going. There's the game, which is now only recording the part that it's supposed to be recording, which is good, and the backdrop. But there's a hole for my face, which my face is separate. I'm going to put it there later. I don't know who's interested in this stuff. Probably no one. But I like hearing about this stuff. When I'm watching Let's Players and stuff, I want to know what their setup is like, not just because I'm a Let's Player, but because I just find that stuff interesting, like how the, how the sausage is made, so to speak. So that's what I'm going to talk about, and you can't really do anything about it unless you go to Patreon.com slash SmithRedPlays and do it with the $10 per month tier. We can decide, help me what to talk about, do it. That'd be fun. Um, and I am going to go, and in the next episode, I will have some repels, and I will be uh, back in Meteor Falls, and it'll be a good time. Oh, I wanted to get out of there before I could. All right, guys, we'll see what the Pokemon is. Oh, it's a friggin' Lotad, Lombre, rather. So that's fun. I'm not gonna fight this thing. Instead, I'm going to run from it, and I'll see you in the next episode. I hope to see you again. Thank you, everybody. Ah, you got away safely from this random stream of thought. Bye, everyone.